If you've ever been puzzled about solving this colorful cube, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm showing you seven steps to solve this three x three Rubik's cube. So grab your cube, let's break it down and let the solving begin. Before going into the seventh step, there are some basic information you need to know about the Rubik's cube. First off, there are six colors, six sides, and three different kind of pieces on this puzzle. The first one are the center pieces. These are one color pieces that let you know what color is on what side. For example, this blue center means this is the blue side, and this red is the red side. Next, we have edge pieces, which are two colors, like this white and orange piece. There are 12 total edges on this puzzle. Lastly, we have the corner pieces. These have three colors, and there are eight total corners on this puzzle. Next, we need to understand some basic notation. I'm going to be giving out algorithm throughout this video, and don't worry, Algorithm may be a fancy word, but once you know this part of the video, it will make a lot more sense. With the six sides of the Rubik's Cube, the side you're looking at is known as the front face, also as the letter F. The top one is the upper, U. Right is R, left is L, back is B, and the down face is D. These are the letters to describe what side I'm talking about. If I say the letter U, that means rotate the upside clockwise. You would look at that side directly and visualize going it clockwise. So if blue was my front face, white was my upper face, I moved U like that. U, and when there's a two in front of a letter, that means move that side twice, to U. If there's a character right after the letter, that means it's a prime, U prime, meaning move that side counterclockwise, like that. Another example, R. Visualize clockwise, and this is R, and this is R prime. L, you look at the side, clockwise, L prime. That's all you need to know for the notation. Let's go ahead and scramble this Rubik's Cube. First step is to solve a cross. I usually like to start on the white side. So the white side would be my up face at all time, while the yellow face will be my down face. Since the white center is on top, I'm going to look at the bottom layer on the yellow side, find an edge with the white color on it, like this one, white and orange. Then I want to move the bottom layer so that the color that's not white, which is orange, matches up with the orange center. So I'm putting it directly under where it needs to go. From there, my white side will be my upper face, orange side is my front face, and I do a 2F to move this to the top. And now this white orange edge is connected and in the right place. I'm going to head and find another piece at the bottom layer, which happens to be white and blue. Keeping the white face on the top, I'm going to move the bottom layer so that this white blue edge is on the blue center side. And then I perform 2F and then move it up. Now in this case, this piece is flipped. This is where our first algorithm comes into place. We want to flip this without messing up the other cross pieces. We're going to have the white face at the top layer, the blue face for the front, and do this algorithm. F, U prime, R, U. Now we have flipped this piece, and we still have the white and orange still intact. If you look at the bottom layer and there are no white edges, the only possibility would that they would be at the top layer or in the middle layer. In this case, we want to bring one of them down without messing one of the cross pieces put in place. For example, this green and white. We can move this piece down, move this out the way, and put the white and orange cross piece back. Now we have this at the bottom, white and green. We can move this piece to the green center and then perform a 2F. Notice how another white piece is in that place. So doing 2F, we'll put the white green edge piece to the correct place while keeping the other cross pieces intact and moving the last one down to the bottom layer. We move that white red piece to the red side, 2F, and now we gotta flip it. The red side will be our front face, F, U prime, R, U. Now that's in the correct place and all four edge pieces have completed the white cross. Congratulations, you did your first step and time to move on to step number two. The second step is to solve the four white corners. We're going to look at any corner that contains white in the bottom layer, like this white, red, and blue piece. If one of the white pieces is not facing down, 
we look at the piece next to it which happens to be red. We want to move the bottom layer so that that piece red matches up with the red center. Now red will be our front face and the corner we're trying to put will be on the bottom right. Trying to bring it up right here without messing up the cross. Red as your front face, the algorithm is R prime, D prime, R. And that will put that piece up while not messing up the white face. Now for our second piece, this white, orange, blue, we want to move the bottom layer so that piece is directly under where it needs to be. If we look at here, this is white, orange, blue, white, orange, blue. This piece needs to be moved up. Then we have the blue as our front face and then we do R prime 2D R D. Now this should look familiar from the first corner we solved. White is not facing down. We have blue connected to the blue center. R prime D prime R. And now we have put that in the correct place. If the white piece happens to be on the other side, but not facing down, like this white, green, orange piece, we move the bottom layer so that the green color matches with the green center. Now this will be on our left side and green will be our front face. And this is the algorithm. L, D, L prime. We successfully brought this piece up and now we have one more corner, which happened to be here. The white piece is facing down. We move it so that it's directly under where it needs to be. R prime, 2D, R, D. And then from here, green is still our front. R prime, D prime, R. And now you successfully completed the first side along with the first layer of the Rubik's Cube. The next step is to rotate the cube 180 degrees so that the white side is down and the yellow face is on the top face. We can move the yellow side freely as possible without messing up the white side. The next step is to solve the second layer. We need to find an edge piece on the yellow side that does not contain yellow, like this red green piece. We want to move the top face so that the red matches with its red center, like this. Red will be our front face. Now when we look at this piece, this needs to go to the right. There are two algorithms in this step. This algorithm will move this piece to the right. Red as the front face, yellow as the up face. U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. And there you go, green and red is in its place while the white side is still intact. Next, we want to find another non-yellow edge piece, which happens to be this red-blue already in its place. This piece needs to go to the left side. Red will be our front face, yellow will be our up face, and here is the left algorithm. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. And the red-blue is in its place. White side is still intact. We keep repeating for all four edges of the second layer. When there's a case where there's no non-yellow edge piece on top, but there is a piece in the second layer that is flip-flop, we would need to get that piece out. To do that, in this case, we need to put the yellow red piece into that slot. So using the right algorithm, U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. Yellow red is inside, and now this green orange is on the top. White is still intact. We move it so that this green matches with the green center, and then perform this algorithm again. U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. And now you've successfully solved the first layer and the second layer of the Rubik's Cube. One more layer to go, last layer, we're almost there. Step number four is to get the yellow cross. We have the first two layers. There could be three scenarios in this step. Just the yellow dot, the backward L, the horizontal line, and then the yellow cross. We can still move the top layer freely without messing up the first two layers. In this case, we have two edge pieces complete. We want to form a backward L like this. Yellow will be the top face. Green will be the front face and use this algorithm. F. R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. 
Now there's a horizontal line. We don't want it vertically, but horizontally. Yellow up, green front. The same algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And we've completed the yellow cross. There is one more scenario, which is just the yellow dot. You can perform this algorithm at any side. Just make sure the yellow is on the up face. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. From the previous steps, we do the same algorithm. The first step is to align these edges in the correct place. We want to try to find at least two solved edges on the top layer. So this yellow and blue, but there's only one. So we keep moving the top face until we have found two. So this red and yellow and green piece. So these are adjacent to each other. We want to put one in the back and one on the right side. Blue will be our front face, yellow as our up, and then do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, two U, R prime, and then a U. Now we have yellow blue, yellow red, yellow green, and yellow orange all solved. There is a case where we have two edges directly across from each other. What we want to do is do the algorithm with one of the edge in the correct place. Red will be the front. R, U, R prime, U, R, two U, R prime. And now we have the two completed edges adjacent to each other. Put one in the back and one on the right face and do that algorithm again. And step five is done. Step six is getting the yellow corners in the correct place, but not necessarily solved. Since I already solved this step, I'm going to mix it up just a little bit. Now you do not want to move the yellow side. You look at these edges and see if there's in the correct place. Yellow, nope, nope, and yes. Yellow goes here, blue is there, orange is there. So this is in the correct place, but it is only flipped. This is what we want to be looking for. We put this in the top right corner where our orange side is going to be our front face. Yellow as our up face and perform this algorithm. U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. And we want to check to see if all the pieces are in the right place. This is it. This is not, this is not, and this is not in the right place. We want to do this algorithm again. Holding the cube in the right place again. U, R, U prime, L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. And now we can see that pieces are in the right place. Some are flipped that they are solved and some are still in the right place, but they're not solved. We completed step number six. Time for the last and final step to solve this Rubik's Cube. For any unsolved yellow corner, we want the yellow on top and the piece in the top right corner. This step may be a little tricky, so you may want to watch this video first before trying it on your own. We're going to repeat a sequence of four moves. R prime, D prime, R, D. Check to see if that piece is solved in that place. If it's not, you keep doing that four moves over again. R prime, D prime, R, D. Not yet. The rest of the Rubik's cube may look messed up, but you do not want to rotate the cube. Keep doing it again. R prime, D prime, R, D. Not yet. R prime, D prime, R, D. Now without rotating the cube, this in the right place, all you want to move is the top layer, keeping the orange center on the front and moving it so that the next unsolved piece is in that slot. In this case, yellow, red, green. And perform the four move algorithm again. R prime, D prime, R, D. Not solved yet. R prime, D prime, R, D. Solved. The rest of the cube is good and we just move the top layer. And congratulations, you've solved the Rubik's Cube. Great job.
Fun fact, if you do these four moves six rounds on a solved cube, the cube will be in a solved state again. So R prime, D prime, R, D. That's one time, two times, three times, four times, five times, and number six. That's the fun fact, four moves, six times. Let me know if you have any questions on solving this Rubik's Cube. I'll try my best to answer your comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you solved it. I will have all the algorithm and information in the description for you to check. Thanks again and please let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys have a great day.